Fiona was one of my first storms, like uh, catastrophe basically is what it was down here. It's the most destruction I've ever seen from any storm. It was mind boggling. Poles snapped, cable down, literally the entire infrastructure was damaged. I just watching the houses get washed away. It was, uh, it was unreal. And look around and say, geez, like there was a house there, you know, and there was a family there. There was Christmases and birthdays and, and the house is gone. Well, we all knew it was coming. So we prepared for the worst. We had extra supplies. All of our vans were fueled up. Um, we were just ready to go. We planned for this ahead of time by uh, making sure our, the fuel tanks were all topped off for the generators and that the uh, portable generators were ready to be deployed. The storm was on a Saturday and we were out uh, first thing Sunday morning. Just a monumental task ahead of us. It's very difficult to get to the affected areas between power poles down and trees down and uh, power lines blocking roads. Some of the roads were washed away underneath and the town engineers haven't assessed the situations. So they didn't want nobody in there to cause harm to yourself. So it was just a waiting game for a few days because uh, they didn't know what the situation was. That is not easy work. It's hard, it's physical, it's mentally tough. Everybody has to work together. We had a good group of guys working. But I thought it went very well. Lots of overtime. Not that we couldn't go home, we didn't want to go home. We wanted to get out and help. The steps to restore service, first you have to wait for tree trimming. Then we need to wait for power to be restored. Once power is restored, then we can do our work. So there is a bit of a timetable there where we have to wait for other providers to do what they do before we can come in. It's gratifying once uh, we have service restored and uh, everybody's life gets back to normal. The gratitude has been like I've never seen. I've been thanked before, but I've never seen people come to tears because we got their phone and internet working before. Be people coming, bringing us coffee and tea and donuts and, and sandwiches, and it was it was, uh, it was kind of a, a great sense of uh, community, actually. For the people that, that did that, I'd like to say thank you for sure.